I think now is a good time to invest in global small and mid caps for a number of different reasons. So firstly, I'd say for Australian investors, you have an opportunity to further diversify your portfolio because you actually get exposure to business models and sectors that are not available on the Australian Stock Exchange. Secondly, uh, it's a, it, contrary to what a lot of people may think about this market, uh, the global small and mid cap market is actually quite large, deep and, and very liquid. So we are talking somewhere in the region of nine trillion US dollars in terms of total aggregate market capitalization. And some of the larger stocks go all the way up to 50 billion US dollars. So we are talking about very large and well established companies here. Uh, thirdly, I'd say uh, it's a relatively under-researched segment of the market versus the large cap end of town. There's a lot less investors looking at it, and so I think it increases the scope for mispricing and alpha generation. And Fidelity has over 400 investment professionals all around the world, so I think that allows us to be able to take advantage of these opportunities when they arise. Uh, and the final point I'd say is valuations right now are some of the most attractive they've looked at uh, in, in over 20 years relative to the large cap end of town, and particularly the, the, the US mega cap net. The Active ETF offers investors access to the global future leaders of tomorrow today, where we handpick 40 to 70 companies out of the 4,000 in the investable universe, which are well established, mature, developed companies, but still have 10 to 20 years of growth as they develop from small caps to mid caps to large caps. Secondly, this is a portfolio which is a very strong valuation discipline, but is tilted towards higher quality, high growth companies that are better than the index. It also offers a unique portfolio construction process that is a blend of styles in quality, value, transition and momentum stocks, which aims to deliver resilient, steady and smoother performance outcomes for our clients. One company that's excites us right now is Amatech. This is an innovative niche specialist in testing materials technology and industrial solutions to many industries. The market cap of this business that was established 100 years ago is now US $40 billion. This is a really great business, a very specialized product that is unique, has grown very steadily over many years, sustained a high return of capital of 15 to 20%, which is twice the average of the index. And this company is deeply respected in the marketplace. We call a business like this a beautiful compounder a high return business with a wide and deep moat, which has a product and a return profile that is likely to be sustained over a number of years. A stock I, I really like right now is Moncler. And for those that don't know, Moncler is a luxury brand that specializes in outerwear. So think of very expensive ski jackets, for example. It's an aspirational brand. Uh, it skews more towards the middle and, and upper income earners. So it tends to be a little bit more economically resilient uh, because of the, the income levels. A key area of growth is the emerging middle and upper classes in Asia, particularly in China. Uh, it's a founder-led business that the chairman owns about 16% of the company. So he has very strong alignment with shareholders. Uh, and all the fundamentals look great. I mean, it's had very impressive top line revenue growth, uh, generates lots of free cash, very impressive earnings on invested capital. It's got a very strong balance sheet and, and valuation metrics versus its global peer set, uh, as well as its own relative history, uh, are very undemanding at this point in time.